Hello folks and welcome back to Orsted. Last time we went through and mainly we focused on a couple of things. We went and got some sheep, we got trains, we have more fish in the ocean and we also have fish in the river. That's mainly what we did last time. We also built up this little transportation network to bring grain over to uh, this granary and then we were able to build on and get lots of grain storage to go to the bakery that can send things out to all of these fine folks. Uh, we're going to expand, I think, this time around. I don't really know what we need to do. Uh, if we take a look here, uh, in this area, we've got all of that. We've got all of that. We've got all of that. We've got all but whatever that is. Um, it's a wheat market, and then there's something else. So I don't know what that one is in particular. We have all of that. We have all of that. And we have all of that. If we go into our policy area, we're still missing one thing. And we're missing lots of trees. So there's still things for us to explore. I'm not sure what's going on with everything, but that's okay. Uh, we'll figure it out. And uh, we also, oh, that's right. We also got hats. <laughs> our people, there we go. We just hat. Hats. Not all of our people have hats, but some of them do. And that's <laughs> kind of been the focus of what we're doing. Uh, so right now we're going to build up to get to 150 people. We'll see what that unlocks because I have no idea. And then we'll move forward from there. Uh, I'm just trying to decide which way we want to build, which way we're going to do stuff. I think it makes the most sense to just continue either building this block in or building this guy out. I think I want to build this one out. Uh, that just sounds more like something I would do. So one, two, three. There we go. We'll do that. Two, three. There we go. And there we go. Okay. So we need to get some water. Um, that's not going to cover all of that. This will cover all of this stuff. So we're going to do that. And let's see how far over that sounds about right there. Okay. So we'll build on that. We have nice stockpiles. Like we have a big, big stockpile here, another one there. That stockpile is even growing. This stockpile is growing. We're actually doing what we're supposed to do, which is awesome because that hasn't been the case for a lot of this game so far. Uh, so let's see here. We have that. What is this one here? That's a wheat market. Okay. And that covers most of that area. We're going to have to put another one in here. So let's go ahead and get the uh, wheat market set up. That's in the town area, I think. Yeah, wheat market. There we go. Okay. So we have that one. We're going to put that in there. Uh, we'll harvest up that geode. And then we're going to build on some housing. All right, that all looks all well and good. Can I? I can't afford that because it's 2.1 trillion. <laughs> this game makes me constantly laugh with the pricing of everything. But we're going through. We got our wheat market. That's. You can see this says no wheat farm, but it still has full because the train's coming in and reloading it every time it needs stuff. So that's good. And uh, we're distributing all the things that we need to distribute. A town hall. Ooh, interesting. So we go in here. We have a town hall. That's our newest uh, item here. What does the town hall do for us? It allows spending policies on upgrades. Okay. We're going to put that as close to, I guess, the center of town as possible. Sure. We'll put it there. It upgraded all of those guys to do what? I don't know. <laughs> all right. We're trying to get up to 190 now. Ooh, we got upgrades over here. Oh, my had no idea that was a thing so let's take a look policies uh can be spent on permanent upgrades uh granting prestige levels okay so we got that and hearth and home that's wisdom for every home we get one percent on that that's cool so we need to get that up but we need to go through so hopefully this will allow us to earn let's see earn through accumulating wisdom spend on powerful upgrades okay that one is 10% on all. Wow. Now, now, you can see this is kind of small right now. I don't know how big this gets or if it gets bigger at all. If I Can I build more town halls? No, I can only build the one town hall. So this town hall is our town hall. Okay. So we need to get some bigger houses near there so the, the this village there we go we're gonna just try to maximize the area that that's touching get all of that stuff in there 
Got our geode there. Now we got another geode somewhere around here. Do you see it? Because I don't see it. Do you see it? Because... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Find these things drives me bananas. I'm so bad at it. Uh, but it is fun. Uh, I also apologize. If I sounded like I cut the last video short a little bit, it's because I absolutely did. My dog was in the process of getting ready to puke uh, right towards the end of that one. So I decided to stop recording because uh, I needed to get her outside before she... Uh, you know, upchucked everywhere. So I apologize if it seemed like I was just like piecing out real fast for no apparent reason. I promise you there was an absolute reason for doing so. Uh, and uh, hopefully we have that covered now. Now, so our town is coming along. I'm really happy with this little town. It's a fun little town. Uh, we have all of the things that are necessary to make the town function, I think. So we're just going to keep building up stuff. We still have people that are starving for some reason. I don't understand why. This place has food. I guess we should put in another row of fishery stuff here. So let's let's do that. So I'm going to go and demolish that guy. Go over to the fisheries area, which is that. And we're going to get some ocean docks. All right, that looks good. That's going to go to the fishery. What is that? A fishery, ocean fishery. And then we can go into here and the fish market. And we'll distribute fish from said market. There we go. Okay. So hopefully we get some more fishies. And we'll see what that does. Let's go back over into our upgrades area. If we don't have any upgrades we can do anything with. We're 2% progress to our next policy, so we'll see what that does. And we need more wisdom. So I think a lot of what this game is going to entail as we move forward here is building places to make wisdom so that we can collect that. I, I think that's where this game's heading, but I'm not positive. We'll find out. But you can see our town is... Uh, Rapidly growing, doing its thing. It's having a good time. I'm, I'm a fan. These are all full, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Can we build a bakery somewhere else? All right, and we need heat, which means we need to go in here and build a wood furnace. It also means we need a stockpile, which means we're going to need to... Get a lumberjack. Let's put that lumberjack down there. Build a forester. Around these parts. And then we're going to build a log cabin. That should accentuate all those things for us. I want to see when the log cabin's built. We're at 190. Does that actually provide us housing? It does not. <laughs> okay, so when I click on this, it should be getting, yeah, there we go. We got sources from there. Cool. All right, let's go see. Can we afford that yet? Nope, but we can afford these. Let's see here. Do I dare to just build a nice pathway along there, like so? There we go. Okay. Now, if I really wanted to, I could just plop in a ton more of these guys. We got our geode out there. Beautiful. We're getting closer with our housing here. Take a look. Our town hall is doing its thing. We're at 5%. It seems like it's going to take forever to get to the next level there. But that's okay. I guess I need another park, don't I? So that's in the town. Get another park. And we'll serve all those people. There we go. 
Starvation. I don't understand the starvation. Okay, let's go in and build some more of our ocean fishies. There we go, we got those guys. We will do that. This thing should be stocked, man. We are definitely moving through, getting the fish out. These houses should have, they don't have bread. How do we not have bread? All right, so these things make bread, right? Yeah, just not enough. Okay, so that means we need to build more of these. So let's see if I can, silos, no, it's too far. Yeah, this is this is the interesting part of this game. Okay, so I can build that there. All right, then we can build on some silos, like so. Yay us! Then we'll go in here. We get a wood furnace, which is also something I've neglected on most of the housing here. We'll harvest that because we definitely need that, and then we'll go to town and get a bakery. And we can do a tax collector, another tax collector. Maybe that will make us some more money. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> you can see this little forest that we've built here is growing nicely and we have a good wood stock back there because of it. So I'm full, cool with that. Um, I guess I should, what is this one? It's a river fishery, okay. It's hard to balance what you want to do in this game. There's a, there's so much you could choose to do. And that gets a little difficult on choosing uh, what exactly you should do. Um, and can... So I'm going to try just building a train track here. Yeah, see, we can't build additional lines. So the line is what it is. I can't... Can I add more after the line? I can, but does it do anything? I don't think it does. The reason why I'm asking is because I could put another line in, if I was able to share these tracks, I could just put another line in for these fishies because there's lots of fish there just waiting to go because it's only serving that one thing. So maybe we'll look at that and go in here, get another fish marketplace. <laughs> what is that right next? Okay. And it has its fish now. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. This is the most nonsensical part of this whole game to me so far. I don't understand what it does. <laughs> like, I know it makes that, but I don't know why or how or what's going on with it. But it's okay. I'll, I'll accept it. Let's see. What do we need? I don't have enough for that. We have more housing that we can get in here. We just need... Three more to complete that area. And honestly, I could put another fish spot in there if I wanted to. We have a geode somewhere out there. <laughs> there it is, thank God. <laughs> There's another one somewhere. Anybody see it? There it is. <laughs> So if you've noticed anything about how I like the game or w w games I play, generally I like a lot of isometric view type games that just makes, it hits all the, it clicks all the t things in my head. Like I just, I just love isometric games and this is a good one. Uh, it's, it's fun to kind of explore and see what's going on and uh, how it's all happening. Let's see. We still have hunger, which I don't understand. We should not have hunger for any of our people. <laughs> All right, so we have more people that we need to reach now. So we'll, you will continue to try to do so. So 
So I guess what I could do is build a train track over here and transport that to somewhere like that. But these guys are all feeding into each other and sending them out. Okay. Because like clearly this is a huge fish production area. We could really probably load up on stuff with that, but I don't know how or why I would need to do that. Uh, we're coming into the fall. So winter is coming soon, which means we need lots of food, which it looks like we do. We have tons of food. So grain, we have plenty of grain. We have plenty of wheat. Wood, we're fine on. Mackerel, we're fine on. Trout, we don't have any trout. We have plenty of bread. We, we don't have a lot of wool, and we have coal. So we may need to focus a little bit more on getting some of our river doodads in there. Alright, let's see if we can just cut that and that one down. We'll chop that one down too. There we go. Okay, we got that. Then we can go in here to fishing and we can get river stuff. Why is that one bigger? Or is it just because it's built? Okay, it's just because it's built. It, when it gets built, it pops out. Okay, I can deal. And it looks like that one we're gonna need to have a fish market because you can see it's not reaching anything. So, go in here, or excuse me, get that, which will feed all of those. And then our fish markets. Yeah, you can see it's in the range, so it's feeding that. Which is then sending that out to other fish markets. I think, I hope. <laughs> Let's see if I put another fish market out here, what does that look like? There we go. Our geode is out there. We're very close to being able to do the next steps here. We just don't have enough wisdom. How much is the house costing us now? 2.1 trillion? Whereas a, a village house is just outrageously expensive. Okay. I mean, it just, uh, it seems like the, so, I'll, I'll say this as someone, this is my first time through this game, owning it, paying full price, blah, 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 not a demo version. Uh, and I didn't pay full price. I got the discount because it was brand new. Uh, <laughs> I digress. Uh, the game seems very easy to progress in quickly. And then once you reach that progression level, it levels off. So like we've played this for about an hour, hour and a half, somewhere around there. And it seems like our level of progression is rapidly fading off uh, as far as uh, being able to do different things uh, especially like this one this progress I, we just need to go through and earn more wisdom and then we'll get more progress all right so let's take a look at how we can do that easily uh, so if we go over into utilities we'll set up a coal mine here with that coal mine we need a coal power plant which requires a path for some reason so we will build our path here. Ah, we can just build it right next to it, can't we? Okay, we can do, so let's see. We'll do that there. And then our train is our railroad wall loading station right there. Coal unloading station. All right. Our coal unloading station is going to be right there. We'll connect these bad boys together. Especially once that gets out of there. All right, what do you need? You provide power. Okay, and then we need, what is the thing called? <laughs> the 
powered salt mill. Okay. And we're going to try two of those. One on each side. And we'll see what happens. I don't really know. We'll find out. And hopefully that will increase our wisdom. So. Let's see. Sawmills are adding. Powered sawmills are adding a whole lot more. Happiness is 91. Tax collector is doing its job. Pine. Libraries. We can build more libraries, I think. Can we afford more libraries? No, we can't build more libraries because we can't afford them. Excuse me. Oh, we got another geo. Do we need to find? Does anybody see it? I most definitely... Oh, there it is. It's the most random thing ever, and I just hunt for geodes every so often in this game. <laughs> Alright, we got our two uh, houses we can put in. That will bring our housing up to 220. And hopefully that means that we can do something. No, now we need to reach 230. <laughs> Alright, so we just need one more. I'll get up to the 230 level. No, no, two more, excuse me. No, just one more. Alright, so that's there. We need 11.27 trillion. We're slow. We're, we've definitely made more progress towards that uh, of our upgrade paths. Which is awesome. Let's see. Can we... What storage do you have? Oh, you're storing plenty. And what... What are you doing bad there? Oh, it's pollution. Okay. So that one's just polluting just that area. Okay, I, I can deal with that. This is not causing any pollution whatsoever. So that's good. Uh, so let's go back in here and get some more power sawmills. Alright, I guess we're going to need to build more pathways... Like that, I think. And then we can build some additional powered sawmills. And that should also help us out. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh oh, here comes winter. This is our big test because you can see our food production locks down big time. And uh, we have to see kind of what's going on there. Again, we have plenty of fish. So there needs to be a way for us to distribute fish more easily. And if I had to set this up again, you have to leave space for like building on all of the things. So like these things are allowed to connect to there, which is awesome. But they connect to all the fish markets. And the fish markets serve all these areas. This one, is that even doing anything? You're not even doing anything. You're dumb. Oh, no. You have this one. Okay. But again, it's like not enough to do anything real with. So I can delete these two umbrella pathway up there. Do I do that? Sure. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do that. Build that down like that. And then I can go into fishing and I can get two more river docks. And we'll build one more of those just for funsies. The game overall is very fun. It's very interesting. I really like the, the visual style of it. I think it's a really pretty game. Just need to practice more and get better at it. If we take a look here, we still have some hunger, which I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. Is, if there's a map of where the hunger's at, that would be awesome if there's some more information. What we, <laughs> there's a hat right here. <laughs> 12 of our citizens have hats. This is the most unnecessary thing ever. I kind of love it. Because we don't know what hats actually provide for our people. Uh-oh. Still have plenty of uh, wheat and these grain silos are all filled up. The bakery... Where's the bakery? There's the bakery. Mm -hmm. 
And the only thing this one's missing is apples because we have no idea what apples are yet. I'm assuming in one of these spots where we don't know what they are, that has to be for apples, right? It has to be. That's just what it has to be. Which job priority? Oh, okay. You can set priorities for your people there. I didn't realize that. So that's good early game. Uh, because I remember playing the demo. Uh, not recording, but uh, all my people would go farm. And then I wouldn't have any people to cut trees, even though I signed them to do that. And that was a problem. Uh, but now, I don't have to worry about that. So this is fun. I I'm very much enjoying this. Uh, let's go over here and build a stockpile. that going come on we're almost we're slowly building. <laughs> oh god here they come so the stockpile can support up to 90 pieces of lumber see we have lots of lumber available to us here this game is so interesting Right, we just need to get up to the 11 and then we'll we clear out our population and we'll see what it brings. I, again, I have no idea what this actually is going to do for us. Hopefully it's nothing bad, but you never know. And uh, this is a... I think it's... So there, when you start a game, there's multiple different size maps you can go with. I think this is in the normal realm. It's not tiny and I don't think it's small. It might be small. But you can change how all of this works. So uh, there's just different considerations that you need to make for how you're playing the game and what's going on with it. I really would love to build one of these, but it's 2.4 trillion for a park. It seems excessive to me. Uh, we want to, we, we just need to get up enough wisdom to build this bad boy, which we're not far away from doing. You see in wintertime that the game slows down not slows down, and, and by that I don't mean performance or anything like that. What I mean is that our people, you can see, look at the houses. There's lots of people standing at houses doing nothing because there's nothing to do. Uh, it's it's just a different kind of setup here. So where's that guy serving? Oh, you're serving lots of area there. Come on, Geode. Nope, come on. Give us, get, just get us up to the point. We just need to get up to, we're so close. Do these guys share with each other? They kind of do. All right, so let's see. If I put another one here, that means they all connect together. Okay. So that's one of the things about this game is just kind of making sure that all of the pieces build on each other. Like this stockpile over here was not talking to this stockpile over here because it's just far away. But now when I click on this stockpile, like so, you can see it's filling that, oh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I'm wrong. It's okay. I apologize, but that's wrong. Uh, it's just, it's doing something completely different. That's okay. Uh, let's get some more powered. Do we get more powered to sawmills here? I think we should. We're getting closer, slowly but surely, to having more policies in place. And we have enough to build another house, which will up us to the next level here. Come here, house. There you go, house. All right, and then we have to get up to the next one, which is going to give us even more stuff to go on. Uh, but I think that's going to kind of wrap us up here for this round of Orsted. There's lots of cool stuff going on. It's a, it's a very interesting game. Uh, again, I want to I wanna know what this upgrade path is. And I also need to figure out how to make this just be less long. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a policy. Okay. So, so we want to do 1% wisdom for every house or 10% on all wisdom games. Let's do the wisdom gains because there's nothing else down here that we know about. This one is going to unlock some stuff for us. So this one is going to be a box of wisdom four. 
what's this 15 percent 15 percent 15 percent 15 percent i guess we need to unlock all of those for whatever this one is which looks like another monolith or something and then we have this guy here uh which we have all of that all right so we'll figure that out next time. But folks, thanks for joining me for another episode of Orsted. If you like it, let me know. If you're not into this, also let me know. Uh, but I'm really digging this game. It's fun and relaxing to play. I just It's one of those things I can come home from work and just kind of chill and uh, play and not have to think too hard about and still see results for what I've done. So thanks for joining me, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.